All right, we're going to take a look at 12.2, see uh, if there's a couple homework questions that stand out, something we can learn from. Oh, how's four look? Parts A through G, I found a good one. Researchers found 500 current smokers to volunteer for a study in which each was randomly assigned to one of three treatment groups. Group, group one received an electronic cigarette. I'm going to write this shit down. It's 12.2, question number four. So uh, three groups of smokers. Group one has an e-cig. With 7.2, well, they all have e-cigs. So this is 7.2 milligrams. Group two has 5.4 milligrams. Group three has, oh, the dirty trick, an e-cigarette with no milligrams of nicotine. The subjects did not know which group they were assigned. During the course of the intervention, holy shit, this is an intervention. Subjects dropped out of the subject study. At the end of the study, 76 sub ah, at the end of the study, 77, 77 subjects remained in group one. So any N1 equals 77. Group two has 76, so N2 equals 76. Group three, N equals 70. Results as to whether the subject quit smoke entirely are available below. Question one, what type of experimental design was used in this study? Uh, this was a completely randomized design. Okay, so the first one says this is an observational study not a design experiment, which is false. They deliberately divided them into groups and handed out e-cigarettes. So it's definitely designed. B says a completely randomized design with three levels of treatment. That looks like it's matching up. A matched pairs design with two levels of treatment. I didn't see anything about pairing. And a completely randomized design with two levels of treatment. Well, if we tried to say like the group three with no nicotine wasn't a level of treatment, yeah, but I, I think we got to account no nicotine as a level of treatment. So we've got three levels of treatment. That's going to be B. Researchers wanted to know whether electronic cigarettes may be used to help individuals abstain from cigarette smoking. What is the response variable? Is it qualitative or quantitative? I think the response would be whether or not they quit smoking or not. Isn't that what they're trying to find out? Whether electronic cigarettes may be used to help individuals abstain from cigarette smoking? Maybe not quit, but like not smoke. Yeah, quit or not quit. That was what I said first. That matches up. And since it's not a number, it definitely can't be quantitative. It's got to be a qualitative. We have three levels of treatment. Response variable is quit or not quit.
To what populations do the results of this study apply? It looks like current smokers. That's what they said. Researchers found 500 current smokers. So they were using current smokers. Doesn't make sense to use former smokers. They've already, apparently if they're former smokers, they already quit, right? So you can't really check that. Uh, and it's talking about the population, not the sample. The sample would have been smokers in the study, but the population would be current smokers. State the null and alter alternative hypothesis. They didn't really say it very well, but I, I think it's kind of like, it's definitely not A, because we're not trying to say the proportions are all the same. Although H0 kind of is that way with quitting and group or independent. I don't know what this O1 and E1 is. I don't even know what that is. Is that something from the data table? Nope. Uh, so here we, yeah, so we see they got a table right here. We can even see the response variables right there. They're listed. I don't know what O1 and E1 is. That's, so that's not right. This is not the scenario. It's got to be the one that's, this looks like a chi-square test for independence because it's a table of three groups with qualitative data. I'm going with quitting and group are independent and quitting and group are dependent. What the fuck? Are you trying to say it's that one? That's off. I need to look at that one some more. That is not right at all. So that is listed as the correct answer, but that is not what we're doing here. That is not what this chapter is on. In fact, I've been viewing an example. Doesn't even say shit like that. I think they made a mistake. No, it is not. We were definitely trying to see if the level of nicotine affected their likelihood to quit. This is not the right answer. All right, well, let's go through the data and let's upload it. We're doing stats, tables, contingency with summary. Those are our groups. This is our row labels in variable one. And they want, what do they want here? They're wanting 
chi-square, which is our test statistic. Two decimal places, I gotta chop these off. P value is this. This is pretty funny because they're saying this is the right. I'm getting the right results, but I used the test I said it was. So let's see, the p-value was not too low. Let's let's write out what we got here. So homework claims this is what it is. But the results worked for chi-square test of independence yielded the correct results. We got our chi-square was 1.89, and our p-value was 0 0.388, and alpha was given as 0 0.01. So we have our p-value is greater than alpha. So p-value is not too low. Do not reject H naught. Do not support H A. There's not enough evidence. Uh, so there is not a left. You support the claim. That at least one P is different. This is the wrong H naught and HA though. Answer for computer, but wrong. The true one is H naught is uh, group and quitting status are dependent. Quitting, quitting proportion are dependent, are independent, sorry. And HA is group and quitting are dependent. Now it ends up getting
it kind of gets to the same area. If they're independent, then the e-cigarette didn't help and the proportions should be the same. And if they're dependent, it means they're different. It's hard to say that, like, if you have the no nicotine cigarette compared to the person that had the full nicotine cigarette, and you both had the same quitting proportion, it looks like the e-cigarette had nothing to do with it. With it. So they're independent. But if like the group that had uh, no nicotine had a higher quit rate, what was the rate? Group one uh, had the highest nicotine content and they had the most people that quit. Group three had the lowest, had no nicotine content and the least people that quit. But we said what the, the thing is, the p-value was greater than alpha. So we are not going to reject H dot. Which means there's not enough evidence to support their claim. What the hell is this madness? Draw a conditional bar graph. I have no idea. I don't know what the fucking conditional bar graph is. Uh, let's see. A looks like it might have the right numbers. The groups are the columns of the table. That's the only other setup that matches. What a fucking lame question. I'm going to have to just give credit on this question. So they're saying it's B. I guess the blue bars are different. I didn't catch that. The red bars are going down on both, but the blue bars are going up as it goes to the right. So the percentage that didn't quit goes up. That works. So the percentage that didn't quit goes up. The percentage that did quit goes down as nicotine content went down. So the people that did quit decreased as you go from group one to group two. Uh, so we said there was not enough evidence that e-cigarettes help quit smoking. I think...
That can't be it. E-cigs are better than cigarettes? Because they were current smokers. Oh, that. Okay. Uh, must be that one. What a horrible fucking question. They don't say what they're... There is, that is a shitty question. They didn't show what they were trying to test for. Then they didn't say it. And then they asked a the question, what are we testing for? How the fuck do I know? All I know is you gave a bunch of smokers some fucking cigarettes. Oh, no, that's a similar question. Fuck all that. See what group question five's got. Really? How's the data set look? See if we can do this. Uh, bar plot with data. We're going to choose reason, but we're going to group by gender. And we'll order by what's in the worksheet. I don't know. Put value above the bar. Ah, it worked. So the males are red. And the last one is coarse. So this is 10. And that's four. You could alternatively count it up, but I don't want to do all that. This was three and eight. And four and seven. That's fun. A survey of 36 randomly selected students who dropped a course was conducted at college. I guess we're trying to find out. They're giving the reasons why they dropped uh, and what gender they are. So we're comparing gender and the reason they dropped. It should be A. We want gender and drop reason are independent, gender and drop reason are dependent. Now they want test statistic information. So we already got the data over here. I wonder if we can figure out how to do the tables contingency with data. So our row variable is our gender column and our reason variable is our column. Let's just see how that looks before we do anything else. That's totally what we wanted. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. They wanted our chi-square value. Our test statistic is right there. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, and they want us to round to three decimal places, which means chopping off 413. 
and our p-value. Also to three decimal places, so 0 .00, 0 0.062. So they did they tell us what alpha to use? Alpha equals zero point one. So on this one we have let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, this is uh, 12.2 number five on college students for gender versus job reason. And they said alpha gave us was 0 0.1. Our test statistic is 5.568. Our p-value was 0 0.062. Now this is interesting because they gave us p-value, we got p-value was 0 0.062 and alpha was 0 0.1, which means we're technically less than alpha. We're less than alpha, but if alpha had been 0 0.05, we would be greater than. So we're only passing this, or this is only going through because we have the, the alpha is chosen to be a little bit higher. So here the p-val is too low. So the null must go, we reject the hoe, and we support HA. Uh, and HA, H naught was gender and drop reason are independent. And HA was gender and drop reason are dependent. And I'm only writing them because I didn't do it earlier and I should have. Because uh, it was on the homework already, it was on the screen. But I, I want to support HA and I didn't have HA written down, so I don't know what I'm supporting. We're supporting this. So there is sufficient evidence. To support the claim. that gender and drop reason are dependent. At alpha equals 0 0.1 level of significance. You guys have any questions? Let's see if there's more to this question. Doing two out of the six problems is enough. I don't want to do all of your guys' homework. But I think I did go chose well by doing that shitty number four. It's wrong. Number four and 12.2 is wrong. I'm going to just have to wave it, give credit on that problem. And if you don't have any questions, just uh, maybe work on your homework or relax or...
TikTok or something. I don't know.